we we uh, added a uh, find all courses that that is being called to populate this list. Yes. Uh, and uh, in the course service, uh, notice that we have this constant over here, right? Uh, which uh, typically would be better if we put this in a separate constant. If we maybe say constant and call it, you know, API URL, and put the put the string in there, right? And then just use it here, API URL, right? So that's a little better, uh, but it would be even better that you might have perhaps a dedicated um, common directory where you might have all the constants. Well, you might have a JavaScript uh, that has constants. Constants. Right? And in that constants, you can declare all your constants. Now, typically, it would not be just that one constant. You might have multiple constants, yes? Uh, and, and you need to be able to use these constants outside of this file. So you need to export them, right? So you might have API URL, you might have a whole bunch of other constants, you know, constants, uh, you know, default course name or title. It might be, I don't know, you know, new course uh, or whatever, the default section title, you know, new section, whatever. I don't know, you might have many, many, many constants in here, many things that you need to export. So when you need to export multiple things, you can just put export in front of this without default. So you say export without default. What you're doing here is that you're exporting all of these things, right? And whoever wants to use this, right, can now, instead of doing this, right, we can, we can uh, say uh, API URL and it will, there we go, it will import from constants using this new this syntax we've seen this syntax before right we've used we've seen it as parameters or functions yes now this is called the destructor syntax right just like you have a constructor you have a destructor uh, which basically is the opposite of constructor a constructor you pass it attributes and it returns an object here we are getting an object and we are destructing and re and re um, uh, uh, grabbing all the pieces only the pieces that we want Right, from an object. Right, so the import returns of the object of the document, right, what's being exported. And here we are just retrieving the things that we want and then binding them to this local variable API URL. Make sense? 